Hello, I should have said good day. When I was first out travelling, came across these wonderful Australians, eh? You know, it was one thing doing a bit of hitchhiking in Europe, but these guys had come all the way across Asia. Full of great stories, really vibrant people, larger than life, outdoors, this inverted snobbery, you know, against the class system. Really inspiring people. And then uh, I still meet the same characters through the years. But that real first impression, that's the one I keep. A lot of other things came in. This culture of uh, from Australia came in via Britain. Some great music like Midnight Oil and Men at Work and Cold Chisel and uh, In Excess, great music. Some great films like Gallipoli and uh, Breaker Morant, you know, this untold story on getting out there on the stage of past injustice and, uh, you know, Pommy's using uh, Anzac troops as uh, cannon fodder. So there was a few things, bad things, like uh, some really shitty, fizzy beer. Neighbours and home and away, man, you'd never get forgiven for that. But generally, what an open, beautiful, positive vibe to bring to the world. So that's enough ass kissing, because by the same token, now I've got to ask you, why have you deserted one of your own in Julian Assange? You might not see him as your own cup of tea or something, but what he stands for is the essence of everything. It's the truth. You know, it's, there he is, his poor mother is running around trying to get support, worried, frantic. He's been in a room for seven years, trapped. If he walks out, he's facing a real miserable end because they're going to torture him and imprison him and confine him. And take away his freedom. For what? For telling the truth. Something you can be proud of, guys. Because if you want to be top of your field, well, he's right there. And that's why they've gone for him. WikiLeaks has published tens of millions of articles, none of which have been redacted, retracted. They all stand up to scrutiny. They're all truthful, which is why they so pains takingly check them so they're beyond reproach for the good of us all because we the people have a right to know what's happening and we're lied to all the time so i'm asking you know why would you turn your back on your own mate and your own mucker like that when all you've got to do is just raise your voices a little bit together and say why aren't you taking care of our own over there it's not unreasonable when the United Nations has said that he is unfairly confined, unfairly imprisoned, and he should be compensated. Now, think of his mother there. Good Aussie lady, going frantic. Think of his kids, what he can't see, man. Think of his freedom. Think of your own freedom.